I'm going to show you how to dress up this simple, inexpensive glass vase. The first step is just to make sure this is really clean, so I'm just going to spray it down with some glass cleaner. To start with, I want to use some gold leaf adhesive. If you purchase a gold leaf kit, it's going to come with some adhesive and some sheets. Makes it really easy to just buy it as a kit. So I'm going to grab a small paintbrush and just add a small little bit of this adhesive to the place that I want it on the vase. So for this project, it's just going to be the top rim, rim, and I don't really want clean lines. I want this to look like it's flecked, old, maybe worn gold. So I'm just going to apply it really, really light coat. We don't want it to puddle anywhere, so I'm just using a little bit and I'm going all the way around the top rim. The gold leaf is only going to stick to the adhesive. So once I have adhesive exactly where I want it, I am just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to go wash that brush right away so it doesn't harden. So it's been 20 minutes and this is clear now. If I touch it, it's a little bit tacky, but it has it's clear so that's how we know it's ready. Now we're gonna get out the gold leaf sheets. Now you wanna use a tweezer and a dry paintbrush with this. If you handle it with your hands too much, it's going to stick to your fingers. So try to use it your fingers as little as possible when doing this. But I'm just gonna tear off a sheet and start pressing it onto that dried adhesive. I can use the tweezer, the paintbrush, or even the tissue paper that it's on, the backing, to push it down really good. As I'm going along, I'm going to use the paintbrush, and it's going to pull away any of the excess that's not where I had the adhesive. Once all the adhesive is covered, I'm going to use that paintbrush to make sure all the excess is out of the vase, and I can throw that away, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. Now we're going to add some paint, but we're going to paint the inside of this vase. So I'm going to grab some newspaper and a little bit of tape and just protect the outside of the vase because I actually don't want to get any paint on the outside. I am using a white chalk paint, spray paint, and I am going to spray the inside of the jar. So a few tips here. When you're spraying, you want to do really light coats. I'm going to use about three coats for this project and let it dry about 15 minutes in between coats. If you do too thick, you're going to get run marks and your paint is going to run on the inside. Um, also work in a really well ventilated area because this paint's going to kind of go everywhere here. So after a couple of coats, this vase is done. And it has the look of a white ceramic vase with a beautiful antiqued kind of rustic gold finish at the top. I am going to use this as a very simple centerpiece on my dining table. This works great with just some floral stems in it. Remember, since we decorated the inside of the vase, this doesn't hold water, but it can hold all kinds of stems and decorations. You can use this technique with gold leaf and spray paint on any kind of glass vase or vessel. So I hope you're inspired to go try this on something you have in your home. This is the stencil I'm going to use and I'm just applying it to the center of this door. I have measured my door panel and I have found the center. Now I'm going to place the stencil on my mark and I'm going to tape this stencil down because we don't want it to move. You can use a tacky spray that uh, they do sell. Um, I don't like to do that because it can leave marks sometimes on your painted surface, so I like to use tape instead. So we just make sure that it's as flat as possible before we start applying the size. Now, leaf comes in gold, silver, and copper. It's not real metal. Um, it comes in sheets like this. Um, you get normally 100 or so sheets, depending on where you buy it, and I'm using gold today. So the first thing you do is you apply a metal leaf adhesive size, and that is what is going to stick the leaf to our substrate. So I've got a small stencil brush, and I really recommend that you buy a decent stencil brush. The craft brushes that you can get in the craft stores, um, they're not really very good. They will splay out, the bristles will splay out, and that means that the size or any paint that you're using will seep underneath the stencil. So that's my top tip. So you dip the brush into the size, which is a milky white color, offload it a little bit and using a stippling method, pouncing 
apply the size through the stencil. Okay, so keep doing it. Add a little bit more to the brush. Don't need to overload it, but we do need to get a good amount on there. Okay, so now we've covered all the openings of the stencil, and now we have to leave it. It has to become tacky. It's called coming to tack. And when it has come to tack, it will be clear. It takes about 15 minutes, so I'm going to leave that now, and then I will come back in 15 minutes and show you the next part. Okay, it's now 15 minutes later, and all the white has disappeared. And if you lay that part of your finger down and pull it up fast, you will feel the resist on the size. So now I'm going to take one sheet of my gold and lay it down. Okay, you can use the backing paper. If it's hot, um, it does stick to you and it's very hot here today. Okay, I'm going to, you can tear it and lay it down whatever works for you. Pat it down. Just lay it down first and then we'll get to the patting down bit and the securing it bit when it's all covered. And I also put some size on this little bit of decoration up here. Not a lot, because I don't want to cover it completely, but I just want to highlight it a little bit. Okay, all the gold leaf is now on the stencil, but we have to make sure that it's all stuck down really well. And in order to do this, I like to use this, which is um, synthetic lamb's wool. It was a mitten that I cut up that I found in the car finishing section at a big box store. It's for buffing cars. And um, they're washable. If you've got real lamb's wool, that's fine. Or if you don't have any of these, a very, very soft cloth. Some people like to use um, rolled up, balled up wax paper, but I really like to use this. It's very gentle. So very, very carefully, we now buff this and make sure that the gold is in all the sections. 